Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. This is Kathy Ross for LUTG Radio. It's 8.20 in the a.m. This is May 6, 2013. It's Monday. Amen, amen. We got uh, ministry minutes coming up in about 14, 15 minutes, and then we got the altar call in the last five minutes of the segment. How many of y'all remember that song? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It, that song was so popular that uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans, he, uh, from Living Color, he created in Living Color, they created a skit. <laughs> with his sister and uh, she was like the local town gossip and she would say uh, you know so and so did such and such and she was down on the corner uh huh mm-hmm. but if they asked you wasn't me <laughs> you didn't hear from me <laughs> we had people like that in the neighborhood no matter what, what was going on they knew they could be at work and they would still be on the hotline. They would still know what was going on in the neighborhood. They could be in another city, in another country, and they would still find out what was going on in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, they would be like the local uh, 911, the local police. They knew everything. The community watch. They knew everything. Uh, why am I saying that? Um, I, I don't believe in gossip. But... I do believe in having all the right information, and uh, you get uh, your right information. Your source should be Jesus. And Jesus always says, do not fear. That's what Jehovah says all the time. Do not fear, for you are victorious. Because Jesus is victorious. It's already written. It's already been done. and settled. He's victorious. We win. Like Israel Holton says, we win. Turn to the back of the book. We win. Amen. I say all that to say, for all you that are in ministry, you're starting to see some weird things. You're starting to see some things that like you've never seen before. And that's because Jesus is coming. The enemy is going to start attacking you guys stronger. Because, well, he wants you to fall down and worship him like he tried to get Jesus to do. I tell you, stand up and don't fear because the Lord is with you. That's the victory. I'm praying for you. I don't care if you've ever done me wrong. I, I could care less. Because you know what? I'm aligned with Jesus. And as long as you are preaching his gospel, you could have been mean to me. And I won't care because I am for Jesus. So I'm still here praying for you. It may seem like, oh, she ain't praying. Oh, but I am. I'm praying. I'm always praying. I'm always talking to God. And don't worry about that thing that you're worried about, because God got it. Don't trip. He got it. Remember, I'm always praying ahead. This is why I don't worry. This is why I don't stress, especially when it comes to things of the Spirit. Because chances are, I've seen it already, and I've already prayed about it. So I don't worry about it. Ah, that don't make me, you know, any better than anybody else. It's just that I pretty much don't care about anything that the enemy has to say. I don't. He can say anything to me. And I'm still not going to care. Because you know why? I read the back of the book. I believe Jesus. I believe Jehovah. He said, hey, Kathy, <laughs> you are going to see the reward of the wicked. Boom, baby. That's all I need. Hey, Kathy. We went. Jesus is going to tear them up. That's, that's me summarizing now. We went. Jesus wins. Jesus is victorious. His name is above all names. Hey, God told me. You'll see the reward of the wicked. <laughs> he says, Kathy, I love you. God loves us. We have victory. So trust me, when I tell you don't worry,
stay in prayer and stay close to God, stay in faith no matter what you see, no matter what you hear. That's what I mean. The end, remember, the enemy has been attacking me and has tried to keep me from getting saved all my life, all my youth. He has done everything he possibly could to make sure that I did not receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you know why? Because he's afraid of me. He's afraid that anybody that gets saved will know his secret. And his secret is, he has no power. You have the power. He doesn't have any power. And look, oh, but he can do this and this. Uh, if, he, if he really had a lot of power, then he wouldn't be trying to trample upon man. He would just take over. But he can't. You have the power. Jesus gave you the power when you got saved. So, the enemy belongs beneath your feet, so keep him there. Alright? Don't let him in. Remember, when the enemy comes before you, if he tries to present an image to you, to your mind, to your eyes, to your ears, Anytime he comes before you, he must flee from you seven different ways. That is the word of God. You have authority over him. Take it. Don't shrink back. Amen. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Jehovah. Jesus. Hallelujah. He is Lord. Here we go. God by Midnight Orchestra.
Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory, the honor, the power, the praise. Um, Back to, the, this is Ministry Minutes, and I'm just going to continue on with what I was saying before. I want you to stand on the Word of God and fear not. Fear not. God did not give you a spirit of fear, therefore you are not to fear anything or anyone. I'm really specific. I'm speaking specifically to the enemy. Satan has no power over you, only what you give him. And if you don't give him any power, he ain't got none. Amen. So, I say all that to say is, I want you to know that God loves you. And you know how strong, you remember Moses, right? You know how strong he was with the Word of God. And I like Moses so much because uh, in Psalms uh, 147, it talks about his victory and the different songs uh, that they, they used to sing. And, uh, Moses was a tough dude. He once you once God gave him the confidence, <laughs> he just went forward and he he didn't take no prisoner. He was so strong and he just kept going. And no matter what you would say to him, his his response would always be, "But God, but the Lord, and the Lord, and God." Now, true enough, he did get angry, but. 
Moses, he wanted to defend God so much. Um, anyway, what I'm saying is, when you draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. That's what it says in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. It says, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So, if you're going to be with him, you're going to be with him. That means you can't take an opportunity to shrink back just because things appear to be a little bit scary to you. That is just an appearance. That's just an image. That's just the way things seem. That is not the way things actually are. The reality is you win. You have the victory. When we look at uh, Psalms 147, it says, How good it is to sing praises to our God. God dwells in the praises of his people. You get victory through praise. So in every situation, praise your way out of it. Praise. It says, how delighted, how delightful and how right. The Lord is rebuilding Jerusalem and bringing the exiles back to Israel. He heals the brokenhearted, binding up their wounds. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is our Lord. His power is, obs is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. The Lord supports the humble, but he brings the wicked down into the dust. Sing out, sing out your thanks to the Lord. Sing praises to our God accompanied by hearts. He covers the heavens with clouds, provides rain for the earth, and makes the green grass grow in mountain pastures. He feeds the wild animals and the young ravens cry to him for food. The strength of a horse does not impress him. How puny in his sight is the strength of a man. Rather, the Lord's delight is in those who honor him. Those who put their hope in his unfailing love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he is fortified. For he has fortified the bars of your gates. And blessed your children within them. He sends peace across your nation. And satisfies you with plenty of the finest wheat. He sends his orders to the world. And swiftly his word flies. He sends the snow like white wool. He scatters frost upon the ground like ashes. He hurls the hail like stones. Who can stand against his freezing cold? Then at his command it all melts. He sends, he sends his winds and the ice thaws. He has revealed his words to Jacob, his principles and laws to Israel. He has not done this with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. See, you have victory. You that are in Christ Jesus have victory. Do not fear, because who is greater than the Lord? No one. And you are adopted into the kingdom of God. You belong to him, and he belongs to you. He will prune you when you don't produce fruit. Meaning, what are you doing to tell other people about Jesus? How is your life with him? What are you doing? So, you want to hold tight to God. Praise Him. Tell people about Him. Win souls for the kingdom of God. Whatever you do, don't shrink back. Don't let the enemy tell you, Ah, oh, Jesus ain't coming. Ah, oh, you ain't winning. See, look at your neighborhood. Look at this, look at that. I got this. Bow down and worship me. You bow to nothing. You bow to no man and no thing. You surrender to Jehovah, Jesus only. That's it. So, you don't bow down to fear. You don't bow down to pain. You don't bow down to sickness. You stand on the word of God and receive your victory. Remember, this is the year of divine replacement. And the enemy is going to try everything he possibly can to get you to forget that Jesus is Lord. But don't forget it. He dwells on the inside of you. You can't forget what's on the inside of you. So don't let fear cause you to say anything against God. Because he, lo he loves you. And his love for you is eternal. you got an opportunity for salvation coming up for you in about three to five minutes. Here's a way to begin praising the Lord. Sing it with me. Praise with all by Willie Coleman. 
Draw closer to him. Draw closer. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. the way it sounds. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Glory to God. To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. Jesus loves you, beloved. And if you want to take a step forward right now to receive Jesus Christ into your heart, now is the time to do it. Now is the time. Repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. 
Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know is commitment. Jesus, I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Congratulations. Go to Facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio 247. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and take your foundation in prayer and intercessory classes. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for a successful show. The many souls saved by the word of God, now covered in the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We believe you love us and receive your love, for we are the beloved. Thank you, Lord. You be glorified in all the earth. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Remember, God dwells in the praises of his people, and it is good to give him thanks. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and definitely come back tomorrow because we got more music for you, another opportunity for salvation. And remember, Jesus loves you. Amen. Thank you for your love by uh, Kevin Jenkins taking us out. Oh, you are victorious, beautiful. Don't forget that. You're victorious. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I talk to you a minute? Listen, when I woke up early this morning, I said, Lord, I thank you for letting me see a brand new day. Deep within my heart, Lord. If you hadn't shown me the way, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Master. Over and over and over again. Thank you for the Keep on giving me. Ooh, yeah. Lord, you're Try to live my life right each and every day.